now Greg Cadillac Anderson. We go from the shortest competitor to the tallest. He's 6'10", a rookie from the University of Houston from San Antonio Spurs. Crowd liked it. Well, I think the disadvantage for the big man, Steve, is that they don't look like they're doing as much because they're so tall and they're so big. They don't have that fluid motion, and they have to really come up with more creativity, perhaps, than the smaller players. So this is a nice one off the glass. He's up high, throws it through with great authority. But again, they just don't have the ballet-like movements of a Michael Jordan or a Dominique Milton Wilkins. As you take another look at it, gets good height and throws it through with, with great force. And what? now... Greg Anderson, who picked up a 42, 1986 champion, and I think uh, your your point, Rick, earlier was apparently right. He, he did have a little problem with his knees, as we uh, or maybe in the first of his two in the first round. Here's Cadillac Anderson. Now he does have a replacement dunk coming, so he'll get to try that again. Now you know Larry Nance was a big guy. One of the things that Nance did to, to catch the judges, I dunked two balls at the same time. No other big guy seems to have uh, tried to do that. I see what I mean? Now, a big man with his size doing that, I mean, it's a dunk, but it really isn't anything special. Now, again, if he was coming off a double screen on the baseline in a game, that would look great. it would look a lot different. Yeah, we'd have oohs and ahs, but right here we get, well, all the little guys can do that, so Anderson's probably not going to get a very good score from the judges. And his score is a low 34 for Cadillac Anderson, which will give him 76.